Hi everyone. So, did you get that problem fixed? I hope so. It wasn't too bad of a problem. I went ahead and added a default clause to our switch statement. Thinking, hmm, maybe that was what it was upset about. But it didn't have any impact. I still didn't get the right results. So, I went online and searched Google for the Java switch statement. And I found some information on Oracle's website, which of course is the owner of Java, so a great resource. And when I look at this source, I see that it's very similar to ours, except that it has this keyword break after every statement when it's finished for that case. So I need to add that to ours and see if that helps. And I'll just put that after each line. And if you notice, it should make those little warning messages off to the side go away. All right, so everything looks much happier now. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And let's see, today's day is going to be 5 and three days have elapsed so that would mean today is friday and the future day is monday sounds great now sometimes it's not such an easy problem to solve just syntax sometimes we can't really figure out what's going on in our program logic wise and we can use the online debugger to help us with that i have a breakpoint set up here and what i did was just move my cursor over into this line number area and clicked on a line and I chose the line where I'm defining the string name for today and I said a breakpoint and that tells the running system that I want to stop right at that point and be able to interact with my code and see what's going on so now I'm gonna run this using the debugger and the icon is this one that has a little bit more information and I'll use the drop down arrow and I'm gonna choose debug project I'm going to look at my output tab and see it's waiting for me. So I'll put in that 5 of today's day and elapse days 3. Now, I can see that the debugger has stopped at my breakpoint. The line of code has turned green. The line of code has not been executed yet. I'm going to go ahead and look at the icons up here at the top, the debugger icons. And I could choose to step over which means I wouldn't really see my code execute, or I could step over a given expression, step into, step out, and run the cursor. Now, all these different options give you some different specific results depending on your situation. For right now, we want to look at every line of our code, so I'm going to choose step into. And if you notice, I could use the F7 key to do that also. So when I click step into, it's going to execute <coughs> Excuse me, the line of code it was on and stop at the next line. So now it's sitting at this if statement. I'm going to check my variables. Do I have any results? Oh, I do. Name for today is a string, and it now has a value of nothing, a null value. Now my name for future day is not defined yet, so it's not something that's known about. Now, as I step through the code, as this is called, I can make sure that I'm executing the if statement that I expect to be executing. So I'm going to step into and see that I did not execute the first one. I will not execute the else if today equals 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. But I should execute this one, and sure enough, you see my execution path goes down to execute the if statement clause. And after we execute this line of code, we should see the value of name for today change. There it is. Now it's Friday. Now we're on the line of code where we are creating our next variable. And now I continue on we should see our 
name for future day created. And now we're executing our switch case statement. So I'm going to click the next and see what happens here. And sure enough, it says, oh, this case is one. So I'm going to set the name for future day to Monday and then break. So if I click this, we should see that happen. Sure enough, now my variable value is Monday. And I've left the select or the switch case structure and I'm now down to the line of code that's going to output the resultant value. Now I'm going to be executing the system print line function. So you'll notice if you click step into, you're going to actually go into the system print line code. Kind of see maybe a little too much there of what's going on. So we can do the step over and let's see if we can step out maybe. Ah, there we go. We're finally back to our code. So when we do execute a system function like that, we will see some additional information in the debugger that we might want to step over. Now our output can be checked. And sure enough, today is Friday and the future date is Monday. Now that was a breakpoint using the online debugger that's available in NetBeans. This can be very helpful to you when you're trying to solve problems whether they be um, small logic problems or major logic problems, they can be hard to decipher, so the debugger can be very, very helpful. Thank you.